Welcome to the nightcap here at Cardinals Stadium in Coon Rapids as the Coon Rapids Cardinals host the undefeated Anoka Tornadoes. Good evening, everyone. I'm Bill Hupp broadcasting uh, tonight's game between Coon Rapids and Anoka. Anoka starters being introduced here. They'll be in the black kits with the red lettering and numerals. Anoka will be in the white with the maroon lettering and numerals as their starters there have already been introduced. Taylor Sundin, Kendra McKay, Lillian Clocker, Annika Olson, Samantha Davis, Veronica Moran, Emma Olson, Lauren Hansen, Tessa LaRum, Olivia Anda, and in between the pipes, Reese Kristoff. Meanwhile, for the Cardinals, they'll start Tessa Delfrat, Sophia Bakri, Bailey Rue, or Bailey Rowe, rather, Erlen Yang Win, Kaylin Green, Callie Alfin, Angelina LeClaire, Grace Stevenson up top, Stella Bone in between the pipes, Kayla, Kaylee Stegman, and Caitlin Griffith. So definitely a youthful group for the Cardinals and head coach Ben Benson. As he's wearing another snappy minor league cap here tonight. Cardinals coming off a tough 6-0 uh, defeat to Rogers where it was nil-nil with two minutes to go before half and they eventually fell apart and lost six nothing so certainly coach Benson just looking for a bounce back uh, effort here tonight from his kids as Anoka and their head coach Lucas Camargo hope to keep the tornadoes unbeaten they're four and on the season and three of those four wins have come by two to one score lines so they're not exactly blowing teams out but they are finding a way to get the job done, and the Tornadoes, with their uh, technically their backup netminder in goal tonight, will hope to keep things rolling and stay unbeaten on the season and atop the Northwest Suburban Conference. Ben Benson, meanwhile, talking to his kids after they battled hard against Maple Grove in the opener and then fell to Rogers. They are o. 3-1 on the season at 0-2 in conference play. Anoka, meanwhile, like I said, 4-0 on the season overall and 2-0 in conference play as Reese Kristoff, the junior, will wear the orange kit. Goalkeeper kit tonight for Anoka and be in between the pipes for this team on a warm, muggy night here at kickoff. Maybe a little rain in the forecast. We'll have to see it rained a little bit. Still under a severe thunderstorm watch. It's 85. It's supposed to get down to 62 tonight. But hopefully the rain holds off as the lights have taken full effect here at Cardinals Stadium. Anoka will kick off to start things. On this warm September night, just after Labor Day here in Coon Rapids. Tornadoes control early. And they go to work. Good ball movement down the far side. Cross comes in, but it's well read by the Cardinals. Grace Stevenson comes back from her striker position. Nice outside of the boot to Bakri, but then it's taken away. Here's Annika Olsen. She'll go all the way back to Kristoff at the top of her box. Near side for Olsen. Stolen away, however. Grace Stevenson giving chase with Olsen there as well. Stevenson forces a corner kick early within the first uh, minute of the contest as she hammers it off of Olsen's shin pads and out of play. Bailey Rao will come over and uh, take it. And Rao puts it in a good position, but it's cleared by the Tornadoes, and now they can break out. Nice job racing after it there by uh, number 13, Emma Olsen, one of four captains. Olsen goes back to Taylor Sundin. Collision in the midfield as that sends Veronica Moran tumbling. Moran, Olsen, Lauren Hansen, and Olivia Goddard are the four co-captains for this Anoka team. As you see the captain's armband, and just a collision. That is a mishit free kick. First foul on either team. 
Goes out of play on the far side. Better crowd on hand for the girls game as uh, people taking in the nightcap of this boys girls doubleheader. Cardinals drew with Anoka 1-1 in the boys match to pick up their first point of the season. Drop back for Kendra McKay. Downline sprinting after it and evading the defender, centering it. And Stella Bone there. Eventually it was cleared, but that's Lauren Hansen busting down that right side. Hansen again, one of four starters. As you take a look at Stella Bone, the sophomore netminder for this Cardinals team. Pretty sure hands back there. It's going to be a throw near the far side corner for Coon Rapids. Cardinals in the black. Anoka in the white here tonight at Cardinal Stadium. The rain expected to move in and cool things off. Or maybe it won't, who knows? Only Mother Nature knows. Cardinals try to break out here. Moran doing a nice job fighting for it for Anoka, and she'll go back to Olsen. Camargo watching. Now it's the Cardinals' turn to take the space. Play on, says the ref, as Veronica Moran knocks over Erlen Yang Win. Down line by Sundin. And it runs out of play. So take a look at Emma Olson, one of those captains. Sundin can't keep it in play. Right in front of Ben Benson. We have a foul throw. I've been waiting for those to be called this year. A foul throw called on uh, Erlen Win. Erlen Yang Win. Because you've seen it a lot. And it's not something that often gets called. And again, nope, they're going to pull it back. Sophia Bakri. Back to Rao. Cardinals kind of pinned down in their own end right now. We have a little more than five minutes gone by for substitution of the game coming up as Isabel Allen comes in, senior. Rao. Good step by Kendra McKay. Kristoff there to collect. Out of play on the far side, so a throw for the Cardinal. Already the fifth game of the season, and we're barely past Labor Day. The regular season jam-packed into a, about a month and a half in September, basically September and early October, as Kristoff avoids the uh, onrushing Cardinals attacker. Kalen Stegman, one of several freshmen playing for this Coon Rapids team. 
Captain uh, Anna Langworthy is available, but has been struggling with some injuries throughout the season in the early going. Battle for it on the far side. One there by Olivia Goddard initially, but then she can't keep it in play. Cardinals starting to mount pressure on the far side. People, everyone seeming to attack down that left wing. But then I'm assuming they fucked it up somehow. Eric's like, don't touch the equipment. Squared in the middle, and Bakri comes back to get it. Moran gets it ahead for Lily Knocker, or Clocker, rather. Olivia Anda into the path of Lauren Hansen, who's trying to square. Hansen forces a corner, so first corner of the game now for the Tornadoes. One apiece. Well played there by uh, number 13, Angela LeClaire. Angelina LeClaire, I should say. Sophomore center back. To the top of the box for Moran. Not cleared, but shot goes wide. First real shot of the game, courtesy of Emma Olson. As you see, Stella Bone, brother Derby, just played for the boys' team. Intercepted now, Nanoka trying to transition. Beautiful move to get free, and then a big block by LeClaire. Still loose, LeClaire battling with Sun Dean and wins it. Nice job for by Grace Stevenson to come back. Stevenson able to keep it in. Can't get past Olsen. And the ball's turned over. Clocker. Far side gets it to Goddard. Anda decides to go back to her fullback. Goddard for Clocker. Back for Goddard, who makes the run. Goddard gets a step. Nice job by LeClaire to come over and make the tackle. Big collision between her and Goddard. LeClaire will play, will uh, step into tackles. We've seen her do that. And that one completely clean, just uh, Knew what she was doing, got the ball, and knocked it out of play. Oh, no, they gave the foul. She won the ball, but they still gave the foul. My, my apologies. I thought she had uh, knocked it out of bounds. Into the box, and that goes into the side netting. Nice positioning by Stella Bone. So nothing comes of it as Hansen mishits it. Here's Anna Langworthy coming into the game, replacing Stegman. And they miss her in the midfield. They miss her up top at speedy winger. Another chance here, centered and cut out. Centered again and blocked. Anoka knocking on the doorstep and that shot fired wide. Nothing on it from, or a lot on it, but not, not accurately by Taylor Sundin, so nothing on net yet. Anoka, by my count, has had four shots already, but they have not forced a save by Stella Bone. Another chance here is Olsen squares it. Drop back, and uh, she takes a shot from distance and scores. Olivia and uh, the junior from outside the box puts Anoka on top. 
about uh, 11 minutes and 47 seconds into this contest. You see Anda just line up and nothing Stella Bone can do about it. That's just a wonderfully accurate shot by Anda who banks it in off the bar. So excellently done by Olivia Anda and Anoka goes on top. Anytime a shot glances in off the left post, that's uh, pretty impressive. Into the game for the Tornadoes, Samantha Davis. They have another shot at goal. I might count six shots now for the Tornadoes. <laughs> Olivia Anda. Kind of playing in that central midfield role, central, sort of central striker role. Moran has it taken off her toes nicely by Bakri. Well read by Annika Olsen. Sundin. Stay with them. For Veronica Moran, far side for Goddard. Goddard to Lauren Hansen and another corner coming up here for Anoka. <laughs> Plenty of white shirts to choose from. Four for Anders or for Hansen rather. <laughs> to the far post, Sundin tracks it down. Hansen kind of overhit that one. Good recovery there by Rao or Bakri rather, and she clears the danger. We're 14 minutes into the first half here in the girls' contest between Coon Rapids and Anoka, and Tornadoes lead it 1-0. Coming into uh, a couple subs entering for Coon Rapids. Sundin away from pressure, and Olsen mishits it with the left foot. Bailey Rao returns for Coon Rapids, and there's an unforced air. There's no one there for Stella Bone. Big collision as Sundin hits the deck, and Rao can't believe that's a foul call. Meanwhile, Sundin a little bit shaken up. And really, it was it was Sundin who mistimed her tackle. Rao had kicked it away, and Sundin cl clashed into uh, Sundin clashed into Rao, and yet Rao was the one whistled for the foul because Sundin came out worse for wear. Part of it was that she looked like she may have hit her head on the on the turf as and Coach Lucas Camargo is out there, and Sundin's up. Walking off with the trainer now. Kirsten Kempe will take her place. Sundin seems, seems to be okay.
Kempe in that sort of left wing role. And uh, steps up to take this one. She'll probably go for goal, and she does, and Bone nearly spills it, but ultimately able to make the save. Anoka trying to quickly restart play. Moran for Olsen. And uh, very central in their attack. Good recovery there by Langworthy. Kaylin Green drops it back for Rao, Ro, for Rao rather. Lumped forward nicely done here by Coon Rapids. Slid wide, but the offside flag is up. Offside the call on the freshman, Callie Alfin. And that's a good call. She was off by a good yard or two. Ahead of, uh, uh, ahead of, uh, beg your pardon, Samantha Davis. Bakri weaving her way through the defense, takes a shot. And I'm not sure what Reese Kristoff was doing. And she's wondering that herself because she could have just let that go. But instead, she knocked it out of play. And now it's going to be a uh, corner kick for Reese Kristoff, or for Reese Kristoff's rather made that mistake. And now it's going to be a corner for the Cardinals. Second of the game as they look to tie it nearly midway through this uh, first half. And I wonder if they're gonna take water breaks. We'll have to see in the next couple minutes. The heat is still pretty intense. They took them in the boys game. But for goal, I'm nearly scoring from the corner. Impressive effort there by the Cardinals' Kalen Green, another of the freshmen in the game. A couple tornadoes, including Lillian uh, Clocker. Warming up below. Set to re-enter the contest. Goddard and uh, Clocker specifically. Moran through the midfield for Olsen. Trying to hit, get, hit a cutting Hansen and does. Hansen makes it two. Lauren Hansen, the captain, doubles Anoka's advantage here midway through the first half. It was a great through ball. And Lauren Hansen made no mistake slotting it past Stella Bone. And now it's 2-0 as Hansen comes out of the game as we take a look at the replay, and it's just a great ball ahead. Hansen sprinting away from her defender. Bone nearly got a touch to it. I believe that was Olsen that played that ball for her, just sprinting away. Isabel Allen trying to keep up, but couldn't. Take a look at Lauren Hansen on the bench. Captain to captain, Olsen to Hansen to make it 2 0. Now is right about the time when they took the water break in the boys' game. Not something you typically see, but the heat definitely uh, makes things. A little different. Nice little back heel from Moran, Veronica Moran, and can't keep it in play on the near side. Stevenson moving quickly. Good 
Good support from the Cardinals as Stevenson tries to drag it to the byline and get a cross in, and it's miss hit past the side netting. Cardinals trail at 2-0. As the Tornadoes make a substitution, Hannah Alquist. Perhaps a relation to the Alquist in the boys game. Coming on to that right back position for the Tornadoes and head coach Lucas Camargo. He's got his team up 2-0 here and looking to go 5-0 on the season. Kristoff collects inside of a halfway point here, so I don't think we're going to get that water break like we did in the boys' game. It has cooled significantly now that the sun has gone down. Still pretty warm and muggy out there as Kristoff, normally the substitute keeper, gets the start. Langworthy pass just behind Stevenson. And up. Maya Thomas getting in the action. Yang Win behind Stevenson and out of play. So Cardinals trying to not let this game snowball like the Rodgers game did. Noka team loaded with seniors. Kempe throwing in there. Hansen, Johnson, Olsen, Moran, Hurtling, Goddard. Very, very experienced uh, Anoka team as Thomas forces the throw. 18 minutes to go before halftime. And again. It's the third or fourth foul throw we've seen in this game. It's just not taking the time to set and go all the way back behind your head with the throw. And that's just one of those attention to detail things that coaches like to get on players about. Thomas intercepts at midfield. Ooh, nifty back heel. Lillian Clocker, good step there by LeClaire. Langworthy running off the shoulder of McKay. Uh, that one will, well, Langworthy battling, and it's a foul. Or are they gonna say it was a goal kick? They said it ran out. I thought maybe she had earned a foul near the end line. I'm not sure about that. And that was in the box too. Oh, that should have been a penalty. Absolutely. Trying to shield her off, but Langworthy got there, got underneath first, and that because that was in the box, that should have been a penalty. But we play on. No VAR or video assistant referee in the high school soccer in the Northwest Suburban Conference. Cardinals continue to attack, and it runs out of bounds on the far side. Oh, they had numbers, too. Great effort by Callie Alfin. Goddard keeps it in play on the far side. Skips past a Coon Rapids defender. Centers it, but a nice job by Rao of clearing the danger. Yeah. 
Olivia Anda has played a whale of a game so far, and she battles with Rao but can't keep it in play. Hansen returns, replacing Moran. Put in a good shift. As you take a look at Grace Stevenson, his brother was with the boys team and then decided to go play with the Minnesota United Academy team. Pretty good opportunity for him. Rao. Hounded by Olsen. And uh, for Hansen. Hansen feeds a runner ahead. And she slips and misses. Oh, a golden opportunity, a glorious chance there for Olivia Goddard. But Goddard just kind of fell down as she, as she struck it. He got a little too ahead of herself. And again, captain to captain, but what a ball by Hansen. Could have had a goal and an assist. 2-0 our score, Stevenson with Bakri in support. Stevenson fouled from behind. All kinds of uh, pressure applied there by Lillian Clocker. Clocker did just that to earn the free kick. Chance here, Grace Stevenson over it for the Cardinals. Loose in front, opportunity, and the Cardinals somehow don't score. Big save made as a Cardinal is down in the box. Not sure if that's Bakri. Oh, it was so inviting right there, and a big collision as Bakri went sliding into Kristoff, who got there just in time to hook it away. Sophia Bakri, usually in the mix of good things for the Cardinals. Lights have taken full effect here on this uh, warm and muggy evening in Coon Rapids. We're inside of 13 minutes to go, first half. Tornadoes lead it 2 nothing. And that's just a freshman mistake right there as Kaylin Green kind of dropped her head after miss hitting that one. Into the channel for Goddard. Rao getting there as well. Goddard fights her off and a foul is called. Goddard uh, battling in the channel with uh, Tessa Del Frat. The left fullback for the Cardinals. And Goddard kind of arrived at the same time, but the collision went the way of the Cardinals. Coon Rapids still seeking its uh, first win. They've gotten a point. They drew with uh, Osseo earlier this year but still looking for that first win. Lumped forward for Goddard, who's got Olsen there for support, but the Coon Rapids defense has it covered. Now it goes down line and Goddard sprints onto it. Olivia Goddard cuts inside, beautiful move. Goddard makes it three. <laughs> Olivia Goddard powers one past Stella Bone, Ananoka has a 3 nothing lead. We th I thought she might square it to Olsen, but she took it herself just off the fingertips of Bone and inside the right post. Plenty of power on that shot. Ananoka is free and clear now at 3-0.
two Olivias have scored tonight for Anoka. Olivia Anda and Olivia Goddard, along with Lauren Hansen. And their joy has come down that right side as two of the three goals have come from that angle. Question mark, Question mark. It's a feeling Lucas Camargo will still want to see more from his team. Oh, beautiful ball into the path of Goddard. Got a teammate up there in support. Goddard takes it to the byline. She's just got so much pace. In our left, drags it back for Hansen, who makes it four. Lauren Hansen, second of the night. And it's 4 nil Tornadoes. Just beautiful, unselfish play, bang. Right past Stella Bone, nothing she could do about it. And that goal coming exactly a minute after Goddard's goal did. This time, Olivia Goddard providing a sister. <laughs> providing the assist. And for the second time tonight, Lauren Hansen finds herself on the score sheet. Ben Benson will have some, some things to say, no doubt, at halftime to his team as there is uh, 10 minutes to go before the break, and it's 4-0. Cardinals trail Anoka here at home. Third foul committed as Anda whistled for the foul. Goals at 28-47, 21-47, 11-27, and 10-27 for Anoka. As they have very much looked like a team that is 4-0 on the season. Stevenson earns the throw for the Cardinals as Sophia Bakri returns. Along with the Grace Flynn, who makes her first appearance. She'll be up top. Olivia Goddard goes off, gets some well-earned kudos for a goal and an assist in the last two minutes. Now here's a potential chance for Tessa Del Frat and the Cardinals. 4-0 Cardinals trail it inside of nine minutes to go first half. Anoka has knocked it around pretty well all night. Lauren Hansen with two goals. Olivia Goddard with a goal and an assist. Again into the channel. Stella Bone probably needs to be a little more aggressive coming off her line like she did there. Flynn doesn't have quite as much pace as Goddard does. Hansen. Cross blocked coming in. And out of bounds on the far side. Well played by uh, number 11 for the Cardinals, Isabel Allen. Senior coming off the bench. Providing some good minutes for Coon Rapids and head coach Ben Benson. Olson. Coon Rapids goal kick as Greta Johnson, the senior defender, couldn't keep it in play. Angelina LeClaire as a well-earned reception for uh, Olivia Anda. Four nothing or Anoka. Tornadoes had a two nil lead 
after 15 minutes. Hansen, another turnover forced. Hansen into the box. Good job by the Cardinals to take it away. Up for Stevenson, tries to control. Olsen takes it away. Kempe recovers. Dropped back. Oh, well read there by Maya Thomas, who cuts it out. Kempe on the turn, and she's hacked down. So it'll be a free kick for Anoka. Isabel Allen saying sorry. The ref coming in and saying, hey. Settle down. Usually you get a talking to or two before you get a booking, unless it's particularly egregious. Hansen from distance. Side netting. Not sure if she looked like she may have just gone for it. Kaylin Green returns for Coon Rapids as we're inside nearing the five minute mark of the first half. A lot of teachable moments for Ben Benson and his staff. They lost in their previous game to Rogers 6 0, and it's 4 0 here. The Tornadoes, to be fair, the Tornadoes are a very talented team. Like we said, top of the conference, 4 0 on the season overall. So they will do this to a lot of teams. They have looked particularly sharp tonight. Bakri hustling hard to keep it in. And now a, another counterattack here as Flynn cuts middle. Great pressure by the defense of Erlen Yang Win. LeClaire clears it. Kempi. Tim, it's a foul. She tries to win back the ball. Or, beg your pardon, that's uh, Grace Flynn, actually. Oh, it's a good job by Alfin to. Uh, she was not, clearly not expecting the tackle from behind. Flynn. Has it taken away? Stevenson racing after it. And they'll go back to Kristoff in goal. Make them stop. Make them stop. The patience exhibited here by the Tornadoes. Greta Johnson intercepted by Bakri. Bakri plays it middle for Stevenson. Back for Bakri and just too heavy. Right idea from Stevenson who Wanted Bakri to keep making the run, but just a little too much as Maya Thomas comes back for the Cardinals. Replacing young Yang Win. Hansen also gets a breather. Two goals for her in this first half. Off the head of Bakri. Job by Rao coming over and forcing the turnover. Another chance here for Anoka. Oh, good. Well read and intercepted by Coon Rapids. Cross for Flynn. She couldn't get anything on it. Good step, however. Shot from distance, blocked by LeClaire. Thomas tries to carry it. Can't keep it in play. But it will allow Coon Rapids to get settled defensively. It's 
squared, played back, and Bone makes the save. Stella Bone has been quite busy in this first half. She has faced six shots, made a couple saves, a couple corners to deal with. As we are nearing a minute to go here in the first half. Olsen can't trap it cleanly, and so Bakri takes it away momentarily. But here come the Tornadoes. They transition so well. Great job by Bakri in the midfield to steal it away. Bakri scrapping with Avery Danner. Uh, brother is on the boys' team, and Avery Danner earns a free kick. They take it quickly for Flynn. Tornadoes looking to add one more before the half. Cut back is cut out by Coon Rapids, and that should be the end of the first half. Time expires with that errant shot from the Tornadoes, but they had plenty of shots that weren't errant in the first half. Lauren Hansen, one of the captains with two goals. Olivia Goddard, another captain with a goal and an assist. And Coon Rapids finds itself trailing Anoka 4-0 at halftime. Back with first half highlights and more here in a moment from Cardinal Stadium on CTN. As you know, CTN's on YouTube, and we're on in a big way. We have thousands of videos online to help you stay connected to Coon Rapids on any device, at home, or on the go. And it's because of your faithful viewership that we can celebrate 10,000 subscribers to the CTN YouTube page. Thank you for your support as we continue to keep you connected. here at Cardinals Stadium in Coon Rapids and the Cardinals trail Anoka here by a score of 4-0. First half highlights and there weren't many. There were a lot for Anoka. A lot of shots, some physical tackles and uh, some missed shots early on from Anoka. Could have been a penalty, wasn't but Olivia An Anka was uh, on target for there. For the Tornadoes there, Lauren Hansen one of her two goals and Olivia Goddard a goal and an assist. Beautiful cutback there for Lauren Hansen. And that's uh, how the Tornadoes, who are 4-0 and looking to go to 5-0. and There you see the numbers. It's all Tornadoes here after one half of play in Coon Rapids. Take a timeout, and when we return, we'll bring you second half action here from Cardinals Stadium. 4-0, Coon Rapids trails it here at the half.
Second half action about to start here from Cardinals Stadium as the Coon Rapids Cardinals trail the Anoka Tornadoes four goals to nil. As we start the second half, they'll kick off moving right to left in the black uniforms, Anoka in the white. As we are underway, Coon Rapids hoping to get on the scoreboard and at least take something from this game from a silver linings perspective as it has been a rough last couple halves for the Cardinals. No two ways about it. Rodgers falling to the Royals 6-0 and then tonight and for the fourth time tonight they're whistled for a foul throw. So it's things like that Ben Benson will want to see cleaned up from a focus standpoint. Just the sort of attention to details, but you know the Cardinals are going to show up and give effort. That's never been a question. But the Anuka attack has been really solid tonight, led by Olivia Goddard. And there's a nice uh, play there to keep it in bounds by uh, number nine, Samantha Davis, the junior forward. She goes far post with it. And it'll run out of play for a goal kick, but the right idea from Davis. Yep. Anoka attack led by Emma Olson has an assist tonight, but led by the other two of the other captains, Lauren Hansen with two goals. And Olivia Goddard with a goal and an assist tonight for Anoka. You can you can add it in post, right? Amen. Outstanding and players like Hansen have not to start in, in the second half. There's a shot from distance or a cross, but that goes begging. And it's going to be a corner, took a deflection, so a corner from the near side by Anoka, or for Anoka, I should say. But yeah, the likes of Lauren Hansen and others, and they are down to our right, as you see Hansen warming up with the rest of the team. So clearly, Lucas uh, Camargo doesn't want them to get complacent. But the players like Annika Olsen, number seven, and Hansen started, but they are on the bench to start the second half. There's a shot that goes ever hot rising from Davis off the corner kick. And in fact, we have a new goaltender in net now. You look at Stella Bone for Coon Rapids, but on the other side for Anoka, it is uh, Caroline uh huh, who is starting the net in the second half for Anoka. And meanwhile, we've got an injury. And it looks like maybe a head injury as a couple of the trainers are jogging out hurriedly. And I think it might be uh, Angelina LeClaire, the sophomore fullback. Actually, we don't want to speculate on what it is, but so enough where the trainer's cup came out. LeClaire injured defending the corner. So while the two trainers tend to the injured defender for the Cardinals, we'll step aside. 4 nothing. Coon Rapids trails Anoka here in the girls' soccer game at Cardinals Stadium on CTN. Want to know the who, what, when, and where of Coon Rapids? Then follow CTN on social media. It's that simple. Whether it's Facebook, Twitter, or Instagram, keep up with local news, sports, and events. And the people who make our community such a great place to live. So give us a follow, like, share, or subscribe, and always be the first to know what's up in Coon Rapids. That's CTN, helping you stay connected. Angelina LeClaire being helped off the field, and she obviously cannot put any weight on that uh, right foot as you take a look at what happened. And she just got spun around. It looked fairly innocuous. I mean, obviously kind of a collision. She might have she might have collided knees with one of the Anoka players, but obviously can't put any weight on that right leg, and that's a concern. So wish her a speedy recovery, but that's a concern. That's a big loss for, she is a 
tall physical presence at, at center back for Coon Rapids, and they're not the deepest team to begin with. So might be the end of the night for Angelina Le LeClaire, and uh, we'll keep you updated if we hear anything. But in the meantime, we're back to action. Three minutes gone by here in the second half as Coon Rapids tries to fashion something together. Bakri's cross cut out. Bakri chasing after it. Trying to track it down. Passed up to Olivia Goddard, and now this is where you got to watch Anoka on the counter. Goddard speeding down the right wing. Cuts inside, skips past the defender, lashes it to the near post, and Bowen gets down to her left to make a save. Stella Bowen with her fourth save of the night. I think Goddard might have liked to have a little more mustard on that shot if she had it back. by my count her fourth shot of the night she might get another one here chasing after it but that through ball just a bit heavy as she watches it run out of play Cardinals trying to avoid falling to 0 5 and 4 and 1 on the season I should say and 0 and 3 in conference play meanwhile Anoka looking very much like they'll stay unbeaten at 5-0 and and atop the Northwest Suburban Conference at 3-0. and Of course, they still have to go through the likes of traditional powerhouses, Maple Grove and Centennial. So still plenty of big games to come for them. Cardinals try to clear and can't. Ball loose in the box, and Anoka again quickest to it, but a good job reading the danger there and clearing it. Dragged back, there's a shot, big save by Stella Bowen. Again, Goddard was there and bashed it with her left foot, but Bone had the near post covered and makes a nice save. I mean, more or less right at her, but it was right at her because she covered it well. Corner kick from the far side for Anoka. Tornadoes threatening to make it five. Olivia Anka with a goal already tonight. <laughs> Hard collision and because Bakri was playing the ball on the ground, it's a free kick. And I'm sure Anka will want to take this. Surprised more teams don't do stuff off the training ground. A lot of them just do the pop it to the top of the box like that. That time it worked though for Anoka. 5-0. Olivia Goddard continues her run. She's got two goals now. And she has been involved in the last three goals for Anoka. Anka now with a goal and an assist. Beautiful ball. And without the presence of LeClaire in there, Goddard was able to get there first. And she has now, as we said, scored two goals tonight to go along with an assist. That goal coming at the 33-49 mark. Olivia Anka to Olivia oh, Goddard. Oh, I don't care. I don't care. And that has been quite the connection tonight. The check is still going to come from CTN if I get their new player or not, dude. I don't care. My wife will still spend the money. I believe that running time, for what it's worth, is six. Chance here for Grace Stevenson. Stevenson taken down from behind, just outside the box. Didn't seem anything nefarious with it, but it was a collision. Assistant coach 
wants to talk to the ref about it, and the side judge is, I think, going to come in to talk to the head ref. He's out on the field, and they're standing over the ball. It's lined up for Callie Alphen to take. And from this distance, you would think Alphen would just go for it. As the side judges, or the uh, side fish sideline official, is coming over to talk to uh, Camargo. And you know what it is? Is they asked if the goalie can get a different jersey because she's got a, a black kit as you can see and of course Coon Rapids is wearing black jerseys so a fair request from the assistant coach for Coon Rapids just that she wears a penny or something that uh, differentiates her so Caroline Hutt getting a little help from her teammate Kirsten Kempe and that's, uh, that's better. So Alfin from just outside the box goes for goal and Hutt knocks it down. Eight minutes gone by, second half. Anoka has already added to their lead with who else? Another set piece goal from Olivia Goddard. This time scoring with a head. She's really done it all. She assisted on a beautiful cutback. Scored a wonderful goal with her left foot and has scored now with her head. As the uh, substitutes for Anoka, for the most part, have cut, taken to sitting down on the track instead of the bench and have stopped warming up with a five goal lead. Goddard once again out muscles Alvin. Olivia Goddard with a step into the box and a little bit heavy on the touch, but. That goes off of her. Nice job by Barely Rue to come over. Barely Rao, rather, to come over and uh, force the corner kick. So, a couple substitutes set getting set to enter for. Anoka four, in fact. And that includes the likes of uh, Greta Johnson and Grace Flynn. Again, Anoka putting pressure on the Coon Rapids end. It's kind of been one-way traffic all night. Cardinals, by my rights, have, by my count, has, have yet to make a substitution. 10 minutes into this second half. Passing by the Tornadoes, and that shot deflected out of play. So it'll be the seventh corner of the game for Anoka. Ten shots officially according to the scoreboard. Olivia Anda has been really good tonight with her service, and once again, that time over hits it out of play. So, of course, broadcaster's curse as soon as I say it. What does she do? But uh, not even put it in play. Lauren Hansen returns. Didn't start the second half, but uh, she takes on to Anda's place. Two goals on the night for her, so she's sitting on a hat trick. Which would start the running clock if she were to pick that up. Again, the... Tornadoes continuing to press and force turnovers deep in the Coon Rapids end. That time, Monica Hurtling, the senior. And it's really the, the depth and the experience, too, that's impressive. Because if you stop Hansen, do you stop Anda? You know, can you stop Anda or Hansen? Or 
or Goddard. They, they've gotten scoring contributions from a variety of kids tonight. And obviously their clear threats are their their threats are pretty pretty obvious. Their best threats, but still really good. Hansen from distance and Bone collects that. Hansen could have maybe taken another touch. But rack up another save, the eleventh shot of the game. And the sixth save made by Stella Bone. committed there by Sophia Bakri. She's going to do that occasionally just by dint of her playing so aggressively. Here's Moran taking the space. Veronica Moran keeps going. And finally, surrounded by Cardinals who force a turnover. Moran was one of the more impressive players. We haven't called her name in a while, but she was very impressive in the first half. As you take a look at Lauren Hansen. Lillian Clocker substituted. Tornado's just relentless in their attack. Good switch of play. But again, just too heavy. They could have had more. There's been some through balls and some Switches that were the right play tactically, but just a little bit over hit. Taylor Sundin, good to see her back after she left from a collision in the first half. Veronica Moran gets a rest. Alfin moves it forward. And they'll go all the way back, Sundin will, to the netminder, Ho, who is way out, maybe 10, 15 yards outside of her box. Maya Thomas getting set to re-enter for Coon Rapids. Thomas replacing Caitlin Griffith, who started tonight's game. Another one of those freshmen. <laughs> Cardinals do a nice job playing it out. Really attacking that uh, that right wing. Greta Johnson to throw it in. <laughs> Sophia Bakri. Passes it wide to Callie Alfin. Alfin goes down in the box, no call, and it's eventually swept away. Not sure if she just got tripped up with her own feet, couldn't sort them out, but she was looking like she was getting ready to shoot, and then she was converged on by a couple of Noka tornadoes, as you see here. And it did look like she was maybe tripped from behind, but she didn't protest too much, and eventually Noka was able to clear the danger. Got 24 minutes left in the second half. Substitutions continue for Coon Rapids. Addison Erickson, freshman defender, will see some game time. And all that is so valuable in the varsity soccer world. Just that experience and learning to kind of how to main, you know, maintain your poise and 
calm the nerves. Another corner earned by Anoka. And I believe Hansen will be the one to take it. It's either Hansen or Anda, and usually they're not both on the bench. They thought about a short corner, but now Hansen will back up and drive it to the near post. Nicely cleared by Coon Rapids. The Cardinals try to push up. Flynn. And ball pressure by Coon Rapids here. Alfin and Stevenson there. Noka, great one-touch passing here as they just matricul matriculate their way up the field. Sort of those triangles and kind of pass and move. And if you don't stay with the runners, you can get really burnt. Off of Flynn and hammered away by Coon Rapids. Hanson with a beautiful turn and offside. Flag is up on the near side. By my count, first offside tonight on the Tornadoes. Oh, that is tight. That is real tight, but the assistant referee was decisive in his call. As he flagged uh, Monica Hurtling when she tried to make the run. Hansen, though, just does seem to have such a good soccer IQ. <laughs> Alfin can't keep it in play. <laughs> Hansen. Rao will get there ahead of Flynn. Bakri has it taken away by Hansen. In the middle for Flynn, back for Hansen, just a bit behind her. Hansen squares it. Shot from distance, and that's hit six. Rack up another assist for Lauren Hansen and Hannah Alquist, the senior. Defender, not, not one who normally scores the goals, but she lashed one home from uh, basically the 18-yard line. The square ball, Maya Thomas not quick to close it down, and that was enough. Just a well-placed shot in the lower right corner to beat Stella Bone and make it six. Now I believe this is when we have officially have running clock. We have reached the midway point of the second half. And Ben Benson, assuming nothing changes with his score, Ben Benson is and his team are staring at two consecutive 6-0 defeats. So Work to do in the training ground. As Annika Olsen returns, Taylor Sundin is subbed out. How about uh, the twin captain duos of Olivia Goddard and Lauren Hansen, each with two goals and an assist tonight. As Hansen jogs over to take the corner from the far stick, far flag. I suppose it's a stick and a flag, really, because there's a flag on the end of the stick. 
Shot to the near post. Bone makes the initial save. It's swept off the line. Cleared off the line back to Hansen. Deflected out, off of a Anoganee over the end line. And Rapids lucky it wasn't 7 0. Actually, they're going to say how oh, that was off a Cardinal. So now Hansen will do it again. Look at this initial save. Kind of a collision at the near post as Alfin, or Kalen Green rather, and Stella Bone were right there. Hansen will take the long route home as she comes out after a productive night. And Alquist will do the honors instead. Come on. A high looping corner. Kempi, Bakri. Kempi in the middle. Alquist. Maya Thomas intercepts the pass. And again, Flynn, there's a shot from distance, and might have beaten Bone had it been on target, but it was off target. Alquist laughing. Now that she's got a goal, a fullback. Listed as a fullback, really playing center mid right now. Oh, beautiful turn, good speed to get away. Then the pass is cut out. Maya Thomas lumps it forward. Caroline Hutt clearly waiting for stuff to do at the top of the box. I believe as the senior, she is the normal starter, so just getting her a little rep. As a, a couple substitutes, including Kaylee Stegman and Kelly Alfin set to return. And for Anoka, back in is Kendra McKay. We're in running time here at Cardinal Stadium. Anoka led 4 0 at half, has added two more here in the second half. Square for Alfin, good recovery, and thumped away by Stegman. And looking at it, it's pretty amazing. The only goal not involving. Either Lauren Hansen or Olivia Goddard tonight was the first one. And Olivia and a strike from distance to open the scoring. If you include Olivia Anda, then those three kids have been involved in all three, or all six of the uh, goals, beg your pardon. As, uh, Anda has a goal and an assist, and Goddard and Lauren Hansen, as we said, have two goals and an assist apiece. Poised by the Anoka back line. Great pressure by Stegman, though. Forcing them to be on their toes. He'll go back to the goaltender, Hoff. 14 minutes to go in the game. Anoka still trying to uh, work on some stuff. And Rapids just looking for a bit of possession. There's just too many 
unforced errors like that one. And speed down the left wing. I mean, even though I did do it right. Cut inside, there's a shot. Stella Bone pushes it onto the football crossbar and over for another corner. Bone with some strong hands there to parry the shot away. Nice job cutting in on her right foot. And that was goal bound, but uh, Stella Bone pushed it over. According to the scoreboard anyway, seventh save of the night for Bone. Another corner for the Tornadoes as that one goes long. For a Coon Rapids throw. Cardinals will fall to 0-4-1 on the season and 0-3 and in conference play. Like we said, Anoka. I should say, I should qualify, if this result holds. There is 12 minutes to go, and crazy things have happened. Olivia Flynn squares it. Alquist. Fourth shot of the night for Alquist, and she does have a goal. That was a very similar-looking shot to the one that she scored her only goal on. Lauren Hansen. I was wrong. I thought Hansen's night might be done. She returns. Throw on the far side for Anoka with inside of uh, nearly 11 minutes left. Hansen. In the middle of the box for Flynn. But a nice job by Rao for, to uh, usher it out for a Coon Rapids throw. Cardinals searching for some offense on the verge of being shut out for the second consecutive game. Just need to, to get some service up to the likes of Grace Stevenson and get Sophia Bakri involved. Converted a penalty against uh, Maple Grove. Bailey Rao has Put forth a game effort tonight as Kempe will take this throw for Anoka. Had her back in by Flynn. Fortunate not to get called for a handball there. Kempe squares it. Maya Thomas alertly kind of shoulders it down and uh, Almost just sort of traps it with her torso for uh, our goaltender, Stella Bone. Nine and a half minutes to go. In case you just joined us, Anoka, four goals in the first half. And two more here in the second half as they have led from pillar to post to use a very modern horse racing term or phrase. Stegman continuing to put pressure on the Anoka defense. Alvin battling down line. Stella Bone will come out to play it at the top of the 18-yard box. 
And right to Lauren Hansen, who's on a hat trick. Looking into the channel for Flynn by Coon Rapids and Kaylin Green able to get there first and knock it out of play. Bailey Rao will usher that over the end line for a goal kick. A couple more substitutions. As uh, Michaela Hafs Hafslund, the sophomore midfielder, makes her first appearance tonight for a very game. Anna Langsworthy. And Langworthy, you can just tell that she's just not her. 100% self. Hansen tees it up and goes for goal. Bone makes a diving save. Drop back by Moran, deflected, and then cleared. Hansen wanted that hat trick. Meanwhile, we've got a stoppage in play as Rao, I think, took one in the midsection, maybe. But what a good job there as uh, Stella Bone read that. And it had some sizzle on it, and Bone kept it out, punched it. If you can't catch it, you got to punch it. And Bone did just that. Ninth save of the night for a talented sophomore. And Anoka just keeps pressing, just keeps kind of doing their thing. As it looks like Emma Olsen. One of the co-captains will get set to return. Maya Thompson, Thomas rather, earns the uh, foul. Veronica Moran can't believe it, but it uh, looked like a good call. Anoka defense popping it around. It's Hansen in, in the midfield. She's played in multiple different offensive roles tonight. Certainly a very versatile player. Great job by Stegman to pressure the ball and keep pressing. And again forces the turnover. Green with a nice move to get free. Lefty cross in the middle, and eventually it's booted away by Olsen. Here's Thomas. Brow. Tries to get it up for Stevenson. Instead, it's counterattack time for the Tornadoes. They play the advantage. The cross for Flynn, and it's off her. Rao's clearance actually goes off of Flynn, and that'll go over the end line for a goal kick. Five minutes to go in the game. Been all tornadoes in this one. Bailey Rao and some others have played most of the game as Stevenson and Bakri return. As does Samantha Davis. One of the few juniors on this team. Grace Flynn's a junior, Annika Olsen, Samantha Davis, Kristoff, but seemingly everyone else. Kendra McKay is a junior. Everyone else is a senior. Stella Bone makes another fine save, diving to her right as Davis took a crack with those pink boots. It's the thing about the, the blowouts in the high school level. Everyone wants to get in on the act. Hansen steals it. She'll shoot from distance, and it skips off of Bone and in, and Lauren Hansen's got her hat trick. Lauren Hansen with three goals and an assist. Not wearing the captain's armband, but the senior co-captain certainly showing leadership tonight. She makes it seven. 
That was just a knuckler that kind of fooled Bone and just got enough to sneak inside that right post. Unlucky for Stella Bone, and it's 7 0. Samantha Davis into the box. See, this is where Bone might, as that uh, through ball was a little heavy, Bone might want to have come off her line and intercepted that uh, through ball, but worked out there for the Cardinals. No assist on that last goal from Lauren Hansen. She scored the second, fourth, and seventh goals of the night. So a game to remember for Lauren Hansen. As Anoka will stay undefeated, they'll improve to 5-0 and on the season and 3-0 and in conference play. And they'll remain atop the table in the NWSC. They continue to battle as Samantha Davis hand fighting with Rao goes out of play. Davis takes a tumble. It's another corner for Anoka. <laughs> Lucas Camargo has built himself quite a team for Anoka. And the Tornado fans have to feel like they can compete with the very best in the uh, NWSC. And this would have to be their year, right? With so many, so much senior talent, you just have to feel like, you know, this is the class that can do it. But we'll see. Plenty of soccer still left to play. Plenty of growing for this very young Coon Rapids team. Hanson steals it once more. Another cross into the box. Samantha Davis trying to get on the end of it. And the high boot earns the free kick for Coon Rapids as we're inside a minute to go here in the second half. Hanson, another shot from distance. That one going wide. Well, we have a minute. I'd like to thank Joel Sipper, our director, too, for both games tonight, the boys and girls games. Neil Hennon helping out. Mike Burling game. Greg on camera. And everyone else involved in the broadcast here tonight for CTN. Fine job by the guys, as always, bringing you Coon Rapids Athletics. 10 seconds to go. Time expires here at Cardinal Stadium. Lauren Hansen leads the way with a hat trick and an assist for the Tornadoes. Olivia Goddard chips in with two goals and an assist of her own. And Anoka remains undefeated on the season. They improve to 5-0 and 3-0 and in conference play. Coon Rapids still searching for that first win. They fall to 0-4-1, courtesy of the 7-0 loss. Now let's look at the upcoming broadcasts here on CTN. Got some football, swimming and diving, little tennis, all right here at Coon Rapids High School. Joe and Howie will be back with you for those including the Osseo Orioles visiting Coon Rapids and Kaijan Cummings Coleman, or C squared as the guys call him, coming off a massive first game against Centennial. You, you don't want to miss this kid in action in his senior season. And you can certainly, if you do miss him, you can certainly catch it all here on CTN. So again, for our entire crew here tonight, for CTN, I'm Bill Hupp saying good evening from Cardinal Stadium in Coon Rapids. 
Boys game ended in a one-all draw, and the Cardinals girls lost 7-0 to Anoka. Thanks for watching this exclusive presentation of Coon Rapids Soccer on CTN.